43 years of my life destroyed and um, I would say I'm still pushed over the edge I'm still trying to uh, survive basically it's not about the sanity wise but uh, the health emergency the health issues these people have created not about the health wise only I'm age 51 almost 52 now can you imagine this shit 43 years this genocide started at my age 8 and I am now 52 years old just gonna give you for comparison Prince William is 40 years old he's got a bunch of kids hugging and his brother is 37 Harry is 37 with uh, also children wife and so on uh, and it's about the only one and only argument they flash with in a public with the smiles and showing people diapers in the face without any argument whatsoever for degree of violence their father Prince Charles now King Charles uncle Andrew and others have committed against me on behalf of Russia together with United States of America Germans this video is going to be dedicated to the Germany this video is going to be dedicated to everything I endured learned from and to what exactly life brought me after 43 years of butcheries 43 years of MK Ultra genocide it's gonna be about the marriage between Hitler and Stalin today this is gonna to be about uh, How Berlin, Angela Merkel, Schroeder, all these German politicians involved in MK Ultra, came to terms to literally marry, not kiss, but marry with Vladimir Putin, Boris Yeltsin, Medvedev, Lavrov, and so on. That's what this shit is going to be about, this fucking video. That's what this shit is going to be about. It's going to be about dedicated to Peter Thiel, Elon Musk, dedicated to how far after 43 years of life ruined, decimated, torn apart into smaller than small pieces, for my actually taking sides. And I started to take sides through. You know, when you are you are small, you don't take political sides because you don't hell know what the hell world is all about. But you know about the issues such as friends and the guys you don't like. And so that's how Uncle Andrew and Uncle Charles related to me since my childhood through the Moscow Uncle Lavrov. And then what became, as I became growing up, also, Elon Musk, another, you know, like a friend, you know, who have a deep compassion, emotions for you. This, this, this is what this shit is going to be. This is from those compassion, from those emotions, from those siding with you, being unconditioned on your side, like Angela Merkel, uh, into what I'm going to witness to you today in this video. So, I better do it good, because everyone counts. And this one here in particular is about the man who literally it's impossible for whom literally is impossible for me to judge because at that time this was a greater Serbian Chetnik state. It was occupied by the greater Serbia. It was known as the Federation of the Yugoslav Republics like the same shit like a Soviet Union was. And so, my father, how much he had control over this stuff, 
he definitely did have a later stage. Um, however, indices involving this uh, international degree of crime, when you have a Chinese president implicated himself into this, when you have Indian presidents, prime ministers, um, or politicians implicating in themselves, not only about Russians and Americans, and if that's not enough, um, it's, it becomes really, really questionable how much control did he have over the whole thing. Uh, this is based on my own experience when, you know, it, it was completely insane for me to, you know, it started to gesture me that I should video record myself uh, stating, you know, how uh, I am the subject to MK Ultra and this and that and so on, and it's going to be admitted and so on when parallel to this they have insisted with a psychiatry and uh, called me refer to me also as a mentally ill you know that's that's you know to expect from somebody that he's going to go and do something like this under this kind of circumstances is totally virtually this is insanity it's fucking insane unless unless the person is so courageous he's going to throw away his career job not job but career everything absolutely education everything away is going to fucking start to record something knowing that the same day is going to be ambulance vehicle is going to come to pick me to pick him up you understand that's basically this is to summarize basically and even when i did report this stuff even when i started to talk about this stuff i was taken to psychiatrist who was involved in this shit and that threatened me uh, and began to threaten me if I'm going to only mention the word MK Ultra, it's going to be the same day. It's going to be ambulance vehicle, it's going to come to pick me up. And it's ex exactly what happened in 2015, I say 2014. As for the Prince Charles, for the King Charles, is, there's absolutely, absolutely no excuse. I don't find the words about how you can be such a despicable murderous, sadistic, mentally, really mentally, as you refer to me, mentally ill. The first one who did were Russians. Uh, and before you know to get back at me or whenever they felt like they want to hurt because that's what made feel, that's what made Prince Andrew and Prince Charles also feel good to cause as much as possible emotional pain, harm. Uh, they too would start to refer to me as mentally ill. You know, they would have these talks with Russians and right in front of me about the weaponry, about the trade with Americans and so on. And they would refer to me deliberately as how about this guy is not dangerous to have. And they would just say he's mentally ill. The first one who implemented this stuff was Lavrov. This, this with with mentally ill, this stuff, this started upon independence of Eastern European states, all the Baltic states, Romania, Bulgaria, Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland, and so on. Nobody fucking appreciated. Nobody gave thank you other than through the torture, through the killing for these people, for this for this exact people, basically. And so this this video, this is the video that um, it's impossible. It's impossible to to react back because you have nobody you can lean on to. Um, when you have United Nations involved in it, and I guarantee you that you're dead, you have no chance. Amnesty International. Uh, when you have a multitude of this people uh, we, who interact behind the curtain with one another all the time. It's not like you see on the media, like this guy, that guy traveled to whatever country and met, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. They do, and sometimes they don't even do that. 
Sometimes it's already something they video recorded already before and they publish. Um, and when they do stuff like this, it's already because they already have agreed upon issues, maybe even two decades earlier, on what they're going to do that year, that time, and so on and so forth. Maybe even two decades earlier. As far as the time frame, I would give you even two decades earlier. They always have people who become presidents and prime ministers working in a background. I don't want to waste time on this stuff. Very difficult for my father to uh, go out and do something about it. But he really did have a good shot. Upon my return from Poland, he had an excellent shot. Uh, I gave him all I possibly could give him to to work with him, to help him out, and he instead figured out it would be the best for him to follow the steps of this German-Russian marriage literally into his grave. Uh, today is a Sunday, and Father always stated that he will die on Sunday, he insisted. During MK Ultra, he was obsessed, insane, driven nuts by the people who participated with idea about dying, death. And that was because of multitude of torture Slovenian government have exercised against one. This guy was inside of the home for elderly, bedridden also, drugged up, they had him. I already have explained how psychiatrist Peter Kopp started to use one. Uh, I believe the first time in 2004, but it could be even 2002. Uh, I believe it was actually in 2002. They were using me to cause as much as possible division within society by misrepresenting facts about me, uh, by driving me completely insane into something I had nothing to do with it, and then presented me drugged up to the people who would be forced to take sides and to which some would be extremely well financially rewarded while others would be, I understand, and this is what I was told, even destroyed. So, to amplify, to, to magnify the whole thing, to make the whole thing as insane as possible, uh, if it's to believe that somebody actually got hurt. I have no idea about any of it. Nobody came to me. Nobody took initiative to stand up for himself, herself, whatever. And so it's very difficult for me to believe any kind of... It was nothing other than manipulation. It was nothing... This is just a trauma on trauma on trauma. Like million traumas, more than million traumas, basically on top of one another with your being always guilty for everything uh, and people that suffer always have suffered for your sake but in reality nobody comes to you and tell you anything it's 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 impossible it would be insane for me to take side of any kind it would be like taking side of, like believing Elon Musk that he's my friend you know, or Jeff Bezos, when he was actually laughing, you know, he psychopath and lived himself in a psych that he have to convince me no matter, no matter what, that he's my pal and that he's on my side and he's going to be secretly supporting me basically by backstabbing me. And this is pretty much what everybody was doing. It's all good for me. It's all for me to get fucked. Everything It's all good for me. With the magnitude of crime like this, it, at this stage, have summarized to what the husband of Slovenian president, Natasha Pirc Musar, this is Alex Musar, I'm going to demonstrate you this guy. Oh, this is... The upgrade of the video that somehow did not get through and which I have titled Husband of Slovenian President Natasha Pirc Musar blamed me for car assassination plot 
and that of his father. I posted this yesterday. Uh, therefore, on June 17th, and the video did not came uh, right. I did uh, installed a new program, uh, and the program did a poor job. If I play you one, basically Look. that's exactly what that looks like yeah. all sure. along. Uh, but uh, it's a big part. It's a huge part. I have completed in respect to this video. Uh, and it's why this video is a testimony, at uh, least of a partial plot, so because it's a much, much bigger stuff, supported with me. you know, I am forced to video record the rest of the stuff. Um, this stuff is, is a stuff they have rehearsed with a father of husband, uh, father-in-law of now what became Slovenian President Natasha Pierce Muser. Uh, they rehearsed this stuff here that you see here since 2008. They started to work on this crime, on this very crime. And uh, I am unsure, completely unsure who, uh, but whether it was for um, I think it was for the husband of uh, Natasha Pierce Muser, uh, not his father, but husband. That I think it was a husband, and I'm not sure. It was either the father of the husband, or it was for the husband that broke his leg in 2012. I think it was. I think it was in 2012. 2011, 2010, that he had something, uh, and it was not determined uh, who is going to be used. But they started to boil this crime. You know, this is what I have. Uh, this is the original. The also times the post is titled as the extended criminal plot of Milan Kuchan. Uh, husband of Slovenian President Natasha Pierce Musar blamed me for car assassination plot and consequently death of his father, which took place against one in 2018. See this stuff here? Yeah, this. And I break down this whole thing uh, about this Maserati they leased in Germany and had accident. Uh, with one in 2018, supposedly they had an accident, and in this accident, uh, for which the husband of Natasha Pierce Muser, Slovenian president, blamed me uh, for assassination plot. I was guilty to him. I was guilty to him because. Um, I was guilty to him because this is a, a Slovenian, uh, David Hitler also is the first female Slovenian president. I was guilty to him um, I was guilty to him because I was guilty to him because he purchased Italian car Maserati and he purchased one through the Germany um, actually didn't purchase but leased one um, and you're not supposed to purchase Italian cars Nike, Reebok, Adidas we are brands I embraced you know uh, any brand I embraced Casio whatever um, Nike, Reebok, uh, Maserati uh, Alfa Romeo, uh, any car brand, you know, or even a car or whatever. That's how it was. It was not uh, it just, it didn't pertain only to Slovenia. The one who blew this out of proportions 
was a Kaczynski government in Poland. Kaczynski was the one who was picking up with those issues. Kaczynski was the one who started to harass people on blue eye, brown eye, uh, blonde hair, uh, black hair, uh, and this kind of car brands. And he claimed that he had people who claimed they found association with the Nazism through the car brands and stuff like this and started to harass. So the Czech Republic joined to that club. Entire Eastern Europe started to uh, portray to me the total, total, total schizophrenia. They started to act like a totally, totally like a schizophrenic, like a schizos. And people started to act like victims in front of me during MK Ultra. They started to portray themselves out of, I don't believe people shit. Because people are not worthy of my belief. I mean, how can you believe somebody without anything? I mean, <laughs> for somebody to, to believe somebody, you have to have something. You have to give something. You have to give some testimony. And that testimony's name is not, I don't know. I don't remember. See nothing, heard nothing, know nothing. That's a fuck up. That's not a testimony for me. So I'm going to stick to the stuff as my being the only victim in this case. Till it's actually something more that's been done by the people alone. He leaves this car from the Germans. And I told you this about the marriage. This is about the Satanism. It's about the marriage between the Hitler and between the Stalin. Literally. This is a guy who leased the car. And it's something I have well, well, well spoke about. That, well, there was a car, uh, which is published here anyways. Uh, they drove this car, Maserati, in 2018. And there was a... Um, there was a, there was a truck that you see right there on the picture, uh, which changed line and drove into their line, uh, in an area where that should not even happen. They had me uh, at, at the place of the, uh, incident police brought me there drugged up uh that's what the car looked like it was a completely completely police plot to the greatest extent possible uh in in this accident it was the father of alish uh musar who passed away died and it was alish musar who had a very very deep uh, affection for the Russia. You know, he actually even posed bullied afterwards with the chair that you see that the guy can recall the torture, the mindless insane torture he engaged in not only in Slovenia but also in Russia with Russians. Um, you know, uh, strange kind of stuff, the interview that he gave You know, you talk about you talk about how your father died, uh, and about the action about Maserati, which you don't want to even see it. Uh, talk about the register um, registration uh, tax Slovenian, German, Russian Dacha. Dacha is a home that you would go on a weekend. Basically, this is the time when you would go and you would spend on a weekend. You would have a house or apartment or wherever in the city and then you would go to Dacha just over the weekend to have some rest and continue then on Monday or something in that sense, yeah. And so, it's kind of funny when you talk about issues like this, really. Uh, sitting on a chair like this, 
and issues like this. Uh, obviously, this guy is a provocateur. You know what a provocator is? Provocator. This is a Ruski, a Russian provocator, uh, a husband of Slovenian president, which I have a little bit earlier uh, demonstrated you. That's that lady with this big schizophrenic eyes that look like there is nothing behind them. And it's exactly what I was told. It's her quality. It's her quality, the biggest quality that was rated about her is her physical appearance. Uh, this kind of appearance, basically, that is like, um, how can I say? I think I have expressed myself the best in this video, exactly what I feel about. I'm disgusted with this individual. And I think anybody would be if somebody would do something to, to you, something like this, you know, anybody would be disgusted with an individual like this. There is no doubt about it. I wouldn't be talking about any of this stuff uh, if this was not the case. But this is the case. That's exactly the case. And she is extremely successful. Uh, I was told for giving a false impression, which, you know, I didn't get the false impression. I didn't say that she is stupid, that she is ignorant or something like this. I stated that she is a schizophrenic. I stated that she is criminally insane, in other words. She has a private law firm, is a lawyer, and that's all she does. And when it comes to issues so successful, because that's what I need to clear it up. I need to clear up every issue I state. When it comes to this issue so successful, how successful the fuck can you be without committing something like this, without actually engaging in a physical torture against somebody for like yesterday date was June 17 and then since 1995 that makes 28 years for you of mindless violence exercise behind doors of government building private homes and so on next to also what they had me post on their vacation at times and so on to cover up basically to blend crime with true so that you know if anybody would request it or if somehow anything like this would happen they would produce a number of whatever they wanted to produce and so on if somehow this thing was to bro break out lose itself talking about the true you know so i don't know how successful you can be if you torture somebody for 28 years then you step in front of him and I'm not saying as a Slovenian president or with your private law firm or something like this. No, man. Uh, that would be not just from my end toward myself. Because that would give me a leverage too big. It would actually favor me. Of course, that the person like this, the only thing I can do is melt down for it to stay absolutely nothing. Like a piece of ice. You take in hands. Uh, but do you think, I should say, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't stand any chance, even if you wouldn't be a lawyer, even if you were a regular person, even if you would have a, just a high school or a grammar school or whatever school, and you would stand up in front of anybody and you would have a lawyer or something like this, and you would go against somebody like this, Unless you would manage to pull some kind of statement, and in my case, even for that is too late, uh, some kind of statement, controversial, something that we will produce, like death threat or something like this, you would not have, you don't stand any chance, whoever you are, whatever it is that you are, is the only chance that these people have now is how basically keep me busy with the stuff I do here right now. I have to record this. Uh, it's apparently is a matter of life and death for my father. So what I'm going to say to this stuff here 
this can be attributed to a politicians, united politicians of Russia, of Germany, of Britain, America, Slovenia, Serbia, all these politicians that participated in NK Ultra against me. And it's summarized down to the life of my father, which these people, 91-year-old individual who was also tortured, he was tortured. He was tortured. Um, he was driven insane. He was demonstrated, compelled, but demonstrated in the wrong ways, uh, wrong lifestyles, wrong decisions. Uh, he was given the right to do the wrong decisions. Uh, he alone made a lot of wrong decisions, criminal decisions, uh, but uh, based on which also state began to, uh, you know, through what state used him. You know, they lure people to do the stuff and then they start to use them and turn them eventually into slave uh, that follows one literally into the grave. It is used like a... Uh, a remote control tool basically for psychiatrists and Slovenian police. For what he stated to me, I'm going to say that he no longer will want to leave and will request that and so on. Father is crazy. I cannot take his statement as accountable. He's 91 year old. Uh, after all, he had to repeat these words word by word by the psychiatrists who were involved in this and teached him on how to do bad stuff further, further, further to cause as much damage as possible. More than my father, I'm the one in the need of health care. I'm the one who has a problem with the liver, with the kidney, who have a problem also with the heart and other issues, cancer among which. I'm the one and they are using him as an ultimate tool to destroy me, to steal from me precious time, minutes, seconds running out, using him to drive me completely insane, to push me over the edge after destroying me 43 years of my life. And when I say them, I mean Angela Merkel, I, give, I mean Schultz, I mean top German politicians. This crime, this genocide is so much German not only Russian, that, you know, I wish there would be a party that would not be involved in it, but with the politics, intervening with one another, it's only stupid people that are taking sides. Yes, for the rest of it, they work like one. They work like one. They do stuff, they do the stuff completely agreed with one another, they act accordingly, and maybe the best demonstration, uh, the architect of this crime itself, is this individual here, which I'm sure that you know. This this, 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 this husband, this, this lady here, this prison of Slovenia, this is just a nobody. This is just a crazy tool for this guy here. That's a Lavrov, that's a Sergei Lavrov. I'm sure that you know Sergei Lavrov. Sergei Lavrov was a president of Russia since 1985. This is the only individual who really, really ran Russia as for everything else. It's just uh, people that wear their clothing, they did the stuff, but this is actually the guy uh, who did just about absolutely everything. Lavro was a little baby in diapers when this was the guy who bring him up. It's like his baby, basically. Like, he breastfeeded literally Lavrov. Uh, excuse me, Medvedev. You know, this guy here that you see, Sergei Lavrov. This is the man who ran absolutely entire show and is also the only competent Russian 
that have a capacity, ability to relate, use his brain to actually power the Russian world of affairs. As for the rest of it, it's just a bunch of imbeciles, I would say. This is the most dangerous guy here, which you see right there. This is the guy who was involved in genocide against me since my age 12. That's when I was actually, can you imagine, age 12. 40 years ago. This is the guy who was running everything in the background. This is the guy who would decide about presidents, Russian presidents, which one is going to sit. This is the guy who actually selected Medvedev and so on and so forth. You know, And then so he selected Medvedev to be my mentor and such and so on. And then this guy wanted to get a technology from the Germans. Germans teach them if they just commit enough crime against me, they will get medications for the cancer, they will get medications, they will get technology to repair spine, uh, they will get technology for... Uh, uh, liver, kidney repair, repair, and so on from United States of America uh, with British, with a Saxe Coburg Gotha, Windsor's from London, London Cabal, basically. If they just can do enough damage and stuff like this, because it was Germany apparently that adopted a baby alien, evil. That was myself. You know, that's how Germans wanted for these people here to present me as. And it was the kind of game. That's what they do. They make people bite issues. And then bite one another till they bleed to death. Till their families are dead. Till they kill each other within the families. And as Joe Biden stated, a rotten finally in pain and in vain themselves. Uh, these are grand maestros, these are the people who get it done. These are, this, this is the man, this is how this stuff was done. And as I, uh, what this man wanted, what the Russia wanted, the Russia wanted to get a technology, Russia wanted to get a technology which started to dream about due to the number of the people involved in MKUltra which disappeared. A lot of people filed for death certificates and in fact were not dead. And those are the people that participated in these talks and Russia became obsessed with a certain people, obsessed with the idea that they can just trace you and make sure that you're definitely dead. If you're from the United States of America, you have participated or from Thailand or from Australia or from Germany or from whatever, uh, these people just started to reserve the right to travel to your country and through your government do post humus analysis to see whether you're really, really dead, whether there's uh, cremation. That was the issue. The cremation is really pertaining to you, to your DNA, or it's not. Well, this lady here that you see here, I'm talking about the Satan marriage. His name is Tanya Fayon. Was the one who was extremely, extremely successful at causing a lot, a lot of problems. This one here, yeah, this her mentor is Borut Pahor. She had two two mentors. One was Borut Pahor. This is this individual here, yes. Scope together, yeah. And his mentor, therefore, also another mentor that she had was Milan Kuch, and this is like a granddaddy of this crime, organized crime, a Russian crime in Slovenia. And it pretty much is the stuff I have also pointed out, and as much as I did not succeed in doing the video properly yesterday, the whole thing, because it's so big. What I'm referring to you started in 2008. So do, do you understand me what I'm saying? So they did this stuff, they brainwashed this shit here for 10 years before 
they orchestrated in 2000, before they orchestrated in 2018, a death of actually a car crash <coughs> which left the father of now new Slovenian president, Natasha Pierce Musa, is dead. Yeah, you get it? Next to this stuff, their preoccupation was concentrated on my not pointing out these issues right here. This issue is here, which I did point it out. I did point it out immediately that they participated in a Russian torture with idea, with some other idea, which I have totally, totally explained right here in the bottom. What this crime, you know, this provocateur wanted me at all costs. He wanted me at all costs. That's what he was talking about, this Russian Dutra and about this car and so on. That's why he was so aggressive that he pointed the finger at me and it really came first to my mind. And what, what later on he apologized. Yeah. Um, the first thing that came to my mind was him pointing finger at me sometimes already in like 2012 that I killed his father maybe because it was a Maserati that he went on that he honored uh, that he went on and purchased the Maserati to honor me uh, since he became so wealthy through my case yeah Except that in 2012, there was no accident registered yet. So this is going to be like the first proof, which I'm going to use to say that there was no car accident. There was no assassination plot, which Milan Kuchin, Russians and Germans who have stolen the money for that paid in for with cash car parts which I ordered from Germany afterwards have exercised against me in 2007 when the police even lost case against me at a police station and have dispatched psychiatrists on me holding me basically jobless forcefully jobless they upon failed car assassination plot a pain upon lost case at the police station have dispatched psychiatrists against me. It was bad for them. And so the only way out was to get psychiatrists that were involved in it and dispatch them against me to come on home and they did and they start to threaten or about how is with my life, where I have a job and so on and so forth. That's actually when the justice would do, I was compelled to run to United States of America. And I did in 2008, run out of my home, literally to Ljubljana and from Ljubljana to United States of America. That's how stupid I was. That I believe United States of America was on my side. The home of the brave is the home of the grave. Actually, it's the grave. That's what it was. Judah, a knife in the back, beginning with a Jimmy Carter with a Richard Nixon, with a Ronald Reagan. When it all started in Russia, in Moscow, four years ago, led me into my life being completely decimated, destroyed, zeroed, annexed, erased. For supporting beliefs such as our European Union and the NATO, when it was their presidents that were in bed fucking one another with the Lavrov, with Medvedev, with Putin, with Yeltsin, with all these Russian, Ruski, Stalinist politicians. 
That was the belief that cost me 43 years of life. So what I'm telling you here right now, you better fucking believe it. Whoever you are, whatever politician you know about me, this testimony should mean something to you. Taking sides, if you're a regular human, whatever you are, whatever you are, is what's going to cost you your life. If you or your family member gets into the situation like this. Even taking a friendship, believing emotions or anything, any kind of expression when dealing with these people, I would rate that as a deadly mistake. It's going to be your last one. Because that is what's going to take you to the next degree. That It always starts somewhere. And it always ends on a graveyard. This, this, this stuff here, with what you see right there, they started to brainwash me. Natasha Pierce Musar, now Slovenian president and her husband. Slovenian police, they started to massage me already in 2012. They started to massage me in 2012 about Maserati, about the accident, yelling, screaming, causing me trauma. That it was his father that died. And then the police on how they convinced him that it was thanks to this Maserati that he at least survived. Something that actually happened took place in 2018 for real. Who had the leg broken in 2010, 2012? Whether it was a father of this individual here that you see? Or was this individual here? I don't fucking know. All I know is that I have met so many people involved in it who faked their medical records as I would identify people, which I never should have had. For instance, when I immigrated to the United States of America in 95, I did not return to Europe or traveled anywhere else abroad with exception to Ecuador, South America, to the little Ecuadorian state of South America where my ex-wife was from on two occasions. So for 11 and a half years until August of 2006, for 11 and a half years, I'm just giving you the extreme that gives me the edge over all this. You shouldn't have seen me absolutely anywhere in the globe because I have not exited the United States of America. Yet I was all over the world. They have identified people. And people had a health problems. The timing, the date, however, clearly indicated that their health problems were oftentimes readjusted for them to pose in front of me on a later date. Maybe the best example of what I'm talking about right now is home for elderly people. Where they would use people two decades and a half, 25 years earlier, before those would even, 30 years earlier even, before those would actually, some would even appear inside of the home for elderly people as a patients, as a residents, I should say. So you have people participating in MK Ultra claiming their residence already in 95 or in 2000 or whatever. And when you would come to them and you would say, oh, yeah, I remember you and this and that. You are such and such. You are here already. And you would, uh, you would say, yeah, daughter, yeah, house, this, that. Uh, son works here, works there, whatever it is. Uh, and you would say, and you are here since, uh, I don't know, 2005 or something like this. And he will say, uh, uh, no, I am here since last year. That's like completely, completely regular stuff. <laughs> so they were using issues which are completely, completely indifferent, just as criminal, if not even more, as to what applied to health records. It was the same shit with the stores in Poland. They had a ghost stores. It wasn't only in Poland. It was all kinds of stuff that went on. That they were convincing me they existed and so on and so forth. It was this kind of stuff that happened. 
for what I started to really, really pay very, very close attention, realizing what went on, I managed to avoid what could possibly turn into disaster otherwise. So, this individual here, that you see here, this clown, this payats, a husband from Natasha Pierce Muser, this individual here who claims lost his father in accident with Maserati, and actually even dares to pose like angry next to her, while she is looking a sideway, like what they insisted me that we're going to help you anyways, you know, because we became wealthy because of you. Uh, police interpreted me this like completely schizophrenic stuff. I mean, like in a such a form, they interpreted this stuff uh, so that they really, really insult you as much as you possibly can insult a human being. Uh, and act like you're the one who is guilty for it. Then they issue like apology that, yeah, it's true, the car is really massive, and thanks to the car that's massive, I survived. Otherwise, I would not even survive. Now, that's true, that's true. Uh, and so it's like, we're going to help you anyways. Yeah. It's actually a lot of money and so on. And so, you know, we're going to help you anyways. So the first fa stage was screaming. That was trauma. That you're guilty. We buy Alfa Romeo, you know, with the German registration tax. Uh, this, you know, you know, German, Russian, German, Russian. Huh? Natasha Pierce Muser. What are you going to do when I'm going to get you to the court, huh? When you're going to, when I'm going to start doing like this in front of you, and your attorney, what your answer is going to be? Because when you're going to appear in the court, you're going to hear, you're going to hear, German, Slovenian, German, Slovenian, Russian, German, Slovenian, Russian, German, Serbian, Slovenian. When you're going to, when I'm going to get you to the court, boy, when I'm going to start to bark, huh? What is going to come out of those eyes? Huh? How much of the sanity is in there for you to deal with this? Because this is what's coming for you and your husband. This lady that threatened me with assassination of my father by presenting me a Klaus which Tanya Fayon started on behalf of Sergei Lavrov Putin. You remember when I told you they wanted to get the posthumous results from the people? They want to go and excavate graves and stuff like this and see if you know what a Zara is? In Slovenian that's a cremation for cremation. You know? We're going to see you motherfuckers, who is the one who's gonna be barking German and Slovenian? And I'm talking to you motherfuckers in Berlin too. We are gonna see who's gonna be the one who's gonna be barking. We're gonna see who's gonna be the one. Or it's gonna be me or it's gonna be you. I am recording this video because I want one to be like top the best of the best for the police to have evidence my testimony so they can come and pick you up man so they can lean their military boots against your throats when having you down on the floor squeeze your fucking spines against the floor handcuff you and drag you motherfuckers behind bars well, you're going to get all the necessary psychiatric medications and care that you guys need for doing something so fucking mindless. And Joseph Fritzl did something, but what you guys did, that's completely different. This, this here is what Lavrov wanted, this here. Tanya Fayon is this lady here? She got married to the German. 
Her mentor, her grandfather, is Uncle Stalin. Her immediate mentor was whoever replaced Uncle Stalin, but remained loyal to killings, to... Yeah, I'm not going to go against the communism because I don't have nothing against communism. I wouldn't be even be talking to you about this stuff here if it was for the communism alone. This is about completely other issues. It got nothing to do with the, with, the, with the communism. It got to do, however, with the Stalinism. It got to do with violence, with degree of the violence that one is willing to commit itself psychiatric violence and when i say you know degree of violence i'm going to remind you i don't know how much you have seen the videotapes of me i i, I didn't go over this stuff because I, I got too many projects on my mind i gotta do so much stuff but you could see me with the saliva running out of my mouth all the time and i would barely walk i would barely walk and and it was like they teach me during MK Ultra. Uh, MK Ultra went on during this hospitalization. They told me, when you come home, if you're not going to be able to to handle the pain, the physical pain itself of your internal organs and everything, uh, brain and, and so on, uh, is 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 better for you to just go out somewhere else, whatever because you can enter delirium and it, because of the physical pain and stuff like this which was really it felt like it's gonna it's gonna have my you know like you would take liver kidney and you would just like this you know have you seen me guys on, on those on those videos basically what the fuck i looked like huh have you seen me at all no i i want to take a paper and just do it like this to give you an idea, it's like so much pain, like this, like I, I don't want to do it like this, but you know that you're, you're right on the brink, basically, you know what I mean? You're right on the brink, you feel that before you're your internal organs is just gonna, you know, explode and so on. And as you walk, you, you cause, you don't have other, are you gonna fucking walk and do something just before, just enough so that you can get another fuck by the court, literally by the police watching, observing you for you to take pills in your mouth, you know, they put you in, in your mouth, basically the pills that you have to take. This is this lady here that you see right there. There's nothing humane in this lady. There's nothing humane in these people. And it's about the racism. It's about the ethnic cleansing. Maybe it's not about the Nazism. But it's definitely about the killing of the people due to their ethnicity. About making big Serbia here, not about the communism. Stalin was just a tool in the hands of Kremlin who served to exactly what I stated. And appears Lavrov is too. Lavrov is also Armenian, you know. Let's just go back to this issue here. Um, to her, who wanted to marry me, this woman claimed she wants to marry me at all the costs, and it was I who did not like her and would not want to marry her since 95. To her, I was also guilty for her infertility. Apparently, that it was because she was nasty to me or something like this. Um, how did she present this stuff? Because I rejected her. 
uh, not because she was she never was nasty to me no 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 she never was nasty to me she would draw me to Croatia beginning 95 had a Croats over there Croats who wanted a big Serbia also in Croatia right near Zagreb and it's where severe torture would take place she was a master in connecting creating uh, for the Milan Kujan literally a civil war within Croatia and it was this also Croatian guys are politicians uh, big politicians that when you see the lady little lady like this from Slovenia uh, she just smiles a little bit move her ass a little bit and before you know I was so fucking beaten up that you have no idea this is the most violent lady maybe in Slovenia but it's like an angel you see it on a stage you will dance in front of you like an angel, like completely innocent, like like the most pleasant, uh, down-to-earth, concerned for your well-being person, who at the same time will also explain you that if you do want a medication for the cancer, if you do want a special medication for your heart or procedure, if you do want all that kind of stuff, she wants you to know that it was obtained by those in Slovenia who fought for the greater Serbian Chetnik state previously known as Yugoslavia. And it doesn't matter that I was the one they have used to condition Germans and the Germans have used to advance their gas, gasoline, oil, petrol, mineral trades and so on with Americans, with British. That matters fucking not if you're in Slovenia it's one thing that she will want you to acknowledge basically who is your papa and who is your mama basically it goes it breaks down to the home for elderly to the hospital facilities whatever was government these people have privatized they privatized absolutely everything whatever was national that belong to government that belong to the people in a such a way that nobody can say it's private but exactly through the methods I have stated to you you wanted to be a physician a doctor you wanted to have some kind of future and so on well through the special circle of selected people if you manage to impress them enough uh, yes you could have secured stipendium, a cheaper rent in Ljubljana, you could have all those things and even a career guarantee. This was the letter for the rest of it. You know, whichever way you know, basically. This is Slovenia, and uh, if I would complain about Slovenia alone, it wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't make any fucking sense. Um, this lady, to whom I was also guilty for infertility, she claimed with the board power, who was driving me to her, to marry her. She was involved with her mom since 95. Uh, uh, they were like indirectly saying to me that I did something to her, that I did something to her that made her actually infertile, and so it's because of me that some that they did something stuff like this. She started to harass me in two thousand and six about coming dead of her mother. In 2006, it was not even in 2008, she started to harass about issues involved in a death, uh, on how the parents uh, have to die, and uh, uh, her mom also like this, and so on. She started to heavily traumatize with like leaving me like an open question in my head without my even understanding what the fuck she's talking about dying and started to dream they dream about uh, death certificates issued fake death 
certificates. And so it was this individual here whose father apparently died in, a, in this car accident. Clearly that his father did not die in any fucking car accident. Um, clearly that he and his father were selected based on the father's age. And I don't even know how old his father was at the time of death. And clearly based on his injury he suffered in 2010, 2011, 2012 whatever the year was so I'm pretty sure that he suffered he was the one who had broken a leg or whatever it did it happen to him he fell something like this it was um, of in the circle of the people they selected the proper person you know and it's like you turn a roulette all the odds with the necessary qualifications, with the necessary uh, credentials, I should say, that also were in line with a physical injury, was what they orchestrated to this, uh, what they refer to me as assassination plot, because it was a truck on part of the road that should not even happen, that drove into the line leaving his elderly father dead. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, they insisted me, and that's when the Russians basically approached me aggressively. You know, that's when the Russians basically approached me aggressively. These are all the dots, basically, that you would connect together. And police officers insisted me that that's how I have to refer to, to this, to MKUltra cases, if you would switch between the TV channels. It's not like this, but yes, they do have a capacity to uh, intraveno uh, regulate your conscience basically through the use of drugs. They can place you right here. Did you see right this here? You can, you can be in Romania and you can see something like this. You have a Slovenian police officer explaining you the stuff that you see right there. He clicks on the remote control, you lose your conscience, they sit you inside of the car, they drove you way back to Slovenia, years go by. It's an accident in Germany, in an element exactly you see right there. Situation repeats in Italy, in France, in Australia, in New Zealand, in, Ant in Antarctica, no. Uh, whatever the snow, as you see right there, whatever you would be, and many people would lose a sense of time. Um, however, I have this really, really gift, special ability, special sense for bullshit to discern even timing and use certain logic to discern between elements, various elements. Uh, I am not saying that this is exactly what happened, because it did not. Something similar, however, did with the Slovenian police. It, it was no Germany, it was no New Zealand, it was no Australia, and it was, it was no Canada. Not Something similar, however, did repeat with Slovenian police. And the next thing that happens is um, in 2018 you are confronted not confronted in 2018 you're not confronted with anything in 2017 is uh, 2017 is when Russians appeared 2016 2017 2016 2016 was this guy here, Sergey Lavrov, who started to insist me. Let's go back to Maserati. 
We did this. We did this. Yes? In 2017, it became clear that my case is going to come through. They're not going to be able to stop. They were pulling. They didn't know how the fuck, what the fuck to do. To hold me back, to hold me back as much as possible. Uh, hey, hey, Maserati with this Slovenian registration, uh, German registration issue. Let's see if I'm going to be lucky enough for me to actually pull this license tag number uh, is it okay leased in Germany uh, which actually yes nice Th there is uh, okay there you go very nice here we have a beautiful uh, a license plate yes license plate you can see it it was actually registered on a, on a Munich, but I have to tell you, unfortunately for so many of you, that you might be disappointed. This Maserati dealer who sold this car, there were so many car dealers that were involved in it. This one too was involved in MK Ultra case. They had me in Germany. They had me at this exact Maserati dealer in Germany who leased the car to these people here. They had me there. And they presented to me this issue as, hey, we don't give a fuck, it's an Italian car, uh, it's leased, so we don't give a fuck, it's insurance, we're gonna fucking trash him. This portion of a schizophrenia, this is not schizophrenia, this is just... definition of the violence was orchestrated together with the Germans, with the Berlin, with the Frau Merkel, with Mr. Scholz. Why don't I take time and demonstrate you this shit here? With this Bundestag garbage here? This Bundestag garbage participated for the last four years in this genocide. Yeah. It's, must be a lot of them inside. Everyone, every criminal. This was nothing other than criminal next to criminal knew about this case. Just as Israeli Knesset did. The same shit everywhere. For me to take sides in this, it would be a suicide. Probably father would be dead for real. Not even what they started to claim it's going to be that they're going to give him a, a fake death certificate and stuff like this. He would be dead for real. Call. This was big. I could go on and on and on. Everybody, all the top politicians, definitely. Which one? Not even one. Not that you see here. But beginning 1990, not even one that would not participate. I think I was clear enough. So they engage in uh, what they claim to me, Norwegians claim to me, Norwegian psychologists claim to me that MK Ultra, this, this is a schizophrenia, it's a paranoia. Uh, and I claim them back, no it's not. And they insisted to me, yes it is, yes it is, yes it is. Um, when British refer to me as mentally ill, not only I lived in the United States of America at the time, here inside of the room, if British are going to claim me that I'm mentally ill, 
after they learned to do this exactly from the Russians. I had no reason to fear. I was nice to the British. I took Charles like my father and my brother, basically. I left everything that was instilled in Slovenia in me behind and I blindly follow steps of Prince Andrew. Literally into the grave. Literally. I didn't do anybody anything bad. I had nothing really to fear. Why should I? And as for the mental illness, they were trying to convince me that MK Ultra is a mental illness. It made no fucking sense to me. Because I knew exactly where I was, what I was, what the fuck went on. Um, I understood everything. There were, however, crucial elements that were missing. But being around the people like this that consider you to be brother of Charles, brother of, uh, of Andrew, their sons, Harry and William, engaging in conversation with their uncle and with their father about whether you fit into the group of Harry and William or rather into the group of Charles and Andrew, whether you are brother of Charles and Andrew or of William and Harry. I had no, no reason, especially because I never had anything bad on my mind against these people to worry about absolutely anything. My life was winning in the United States of America anyways. Um, despite the torture, despite everything, I figure out that stuff they, uh, they presented me with is actually completely depends on them. And I figure out that this is, this is my ability, my psychology, which was so, so, uh, I far, far superseded their, um, her bullshit. I mean, no matter how much they would want to corner me, my mind clearly, clearly had a capacity to handle a real time and uh, MK Ultra. So this is like two worlds completely separate, totally separate from one another. And would have never ever interact. From the beginning it would actually, but I determined that it would a result for me like on a long term with a very 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 serious uh, mental problems yeah and as a as a as a elite of the elite brain as I have I probably would have a hundred doctoral degrees if this would not take for the worst you know I started to think about myself a little bit different. View myself as a little bit different, uh, knowing that this shit started at my age eight, what I have gone through and manage all this stuff because every day for the last 43 years for me was, life was unpredictable. And the slightest mistake I would make uh, it would seal uh, my life so quickly, so fast, it would end it, that it, it's, it's actually, you got to be, you, you, I, I actually have deeply, deeply underrated, underestimated myself. I know today that if that wasn't the case, and I know today that my father had to perform violence, mother too, the teacher had to perform this kind of violence, uh, because that's the way you introduce one, you know, trauma had to be present, all these children, that they were jumping on me in this grammar school. That's actually MK Ultra trauma, you know? Um, every police officer had a belt like this, every police officer. Um, a necessary element to handle one during MK Ultra is the elements at home in the school 24-7. So it goes 24-7 around the clock. Tick, 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 all the time, all the time. So 
So the person is so much, mind is so much scattered that doesn't pay attention to it. If you are a subject, MK Ultra subject, nobody can help you. You can only help yourself. And if you are mentally ill or not, according to my definition, and that definition even is not accurate because the times changed and you do have internet and you do have a cameras everywhere and every phone. The phones are now different. Before we didn't even have phones a long time ago. I remember when they were digging the channel here, collecting the money from house to house to pull the cable. Pull the fucking cable for, for the phone here so that houses had a telephone. And you have no fucking idea what day that was, boy, when we had a telephone. We had a telephone, man. It was like unimaginable that, what the fuck was the telephone? Yeah, guys, I'm from those days. I'm 52 almost. I was born in back in on December of 1971. <laughs> I'm over half a century old. What a day it was when the telephone popped up in our house. And I heard this signal and... Uh, and now you can talk to the person just like this. That was a landline. But people figure out, fuck. Like, why the fuck are we paid so much money when now it's this shit here. It's now the next thing that popped up was a satellite. And the cellular technology broke out. It didn't make no fucking sense to have the phone anymore. People are deciding about in the United States of America. Whether it's actually even worth it to have a landline at home paying two bills instead of one. <sighs> when I consider all these issues, and I go a little bit deep into this, Learning basically where my life went, how how my life was basically lost, scattered all over the place. I figure out, boy, that I'm not going to say for myself. I shouldn't even say that I would have a hundred doctoral degrees and stuff like that. I think that's stupid. Uh, but the people that presented themselves as, as you know, as smart people and so on, they, by the way, demanded from me to refer to myself as a scientist and so on. I never have referred to myself as a scientist and I never will. I don't even want to have anything to do with a scientist, with the scientists and stuff like this. And it was all kinds of expression they brainwashed me with how I have to refer to myself as so that poor and scattered all over the place, financially ruined, forced or unemployed is what I'm trying to say. I would look as crazy as possible, probably is why when considering all this stuff I had no reason folks I had absolutely no reason to worry about my future being around people like this my god this prince mother queen queen from England and all this man all these people my side are you kidding me what the fuck I need I'm all set and how the hell are you going to get me? I mean, my having a capacity with all this and deciding. In other words, how are you going to prove me I'm mentally ill? My definition of mental illness, that the answer is going to surprise you as hell, was exactly to what Prince Charles and Prince Andrew demanded from me. It's exactly to what U.S. government, with Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, Jimmy Carter, both presidents, both Bush presidents, Donald Trump and all these people before he became president and all that stuff, demanded from me to go take a video camera and fucking record yourself. Like I said earlier, you can't do that, man. If you have parallel to this, in, in, in this dimension, MKUltra dimension, somebody parallel claiming to you that you're going to that you are mentally ill, them alone, and using psychiatrists to death threaten you, to drive you crazy. That's an impossible thing to do. I can give you a fucking camera in your hands, and you're not going to do it. If I tell you that, 
stuff like this is going to be used to actually repatriate you to Slovenia through the psychiatric care in the United States of America. Hello, I bring you to a police station like they did in Miami. No fucking way you will. That's what the FBI did. They did all this stuff. They tied my hands like this, completely like this, put a rope around my neck. They were 24-7 collecting some kind of stuff about me, anything they could use to apologize this stuff. And you can't apologize this kind of stuff unless you have a proof for it. Uh, to, be, to have a proof for it, that means that you have to create more than evidence. You can't say to somebody that he's mentally ill. You can, however, if that person comes to you and say, please, please help me out. I suffer due to, let's say, job stress, uh, uh, problems at home, let's say, uh, 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 not about work assignment, let's say, but let's say stress, uh, I have a supervisor, they want too much, this and that. I, I, I am, actually, people come to psychiatrists, psychologists, you know what they say? They say, I, I have this kind of problem, my mind is this, and I feel this. I, uh, and then it's the psychiatrist that starts, because usually these people, <laughs> employers, 99% of the time, if they are at least some, many of them, a direct connection to police, to psychiatrists, and so on. So it will be psychiatrists. They'll take over and start to give you, ask you about questions, and so on. And the only thing is going to write it down. You have too many fucking problems on your mind, and you want less hours. They teach people basically to go to a shrink, shrink, sorry, <laughs> and they'll prescribe you something for depression and cut you work hours to half maybe instead of 40 you're going to be 20 what was the fuck 911 used for at least they encourage a lot of people i'm depressed i'm this i'm that and i was starting because they were telling me about that stuff that i should go and inquire about my being depressed and this and that also about for 9-11 that it took place. I didn't understand. You know, don't tell anybody. It's good to be fucking stupid sometimes. It's good. It's good that you are dumb like a rock sometimes. And you have feelings. It's cool. Because if you would have this moment, that moment, they would fucking melt you down. You don't need ECT. You don't need electroconvulsive therapy. ECT, brain shocking, hammer, to rock you down. Sometimes people are yellow mellow, they just go like eyes, oh, they start to see things. And there you have it. There you have it. Mental illness for me, if you are subjected to MK Ultra, of course, as I stated, these days are different because you have internet, you have cameras, is when you follow instructions. For the people who tell you that you have to start to video record yourself if they threaten you parallel to that stuff if they don't give you a damn and proof something that you can use that you actually know them that they were on a picture can you imagine you go fucking out and say hey man did you believe i was yesterday and you're inside a psychiatric hospital like i was and you see the guy over there in Arizona inside a psychiatric hospital and goes out on the internet and, and says, Hey man, hello world, would you believe I was yesterday in Venice? Bye bye. It did happen to me. They had me 
like this during the stay in the psychiatric hospital throughout the United States of America and in Phoenix and in many other locations. <laughs> Mental illnesses, my friends, when under circumstances like this, don't even say about saying that King Charles or Xi Jinping is your personal friend or something like that, is when you go out there and you start taking things personally, when and they do stress you that you have to pay attention, for fuck's sake that you have to pay attention, you have to be careful what you are doing, we told you not to do this, we told you must do that, you must not do this. I didn't smoke, I didn't drink coffee, I didn't fucking do anything, man. I didn't, you know, fuck women, which I should. To stay out of fucking problems. Well, at least here I have everything enough. As for women, I know. No alcohol, no that kind of stuff. You must exercise. You must not eat this. You must. Whatever is this the fucking must. Do not. Do not. Do not allow anybody, regardless of how good is advice, to enter your real life. Because once you start to allow MK Ultra in whichever form it's in whatever way, that's why they make things impossible for you. So that you allow the MK Ultra to enter in your life, and it doesn't matter, and I'm gonna repeat to you, no matter how good it is, advice, no matter how healthy it might seem to be, remember, your lifestyle is as such in real time because of something else that goes on. So you must answer your call in a different way because if you answer one in a way I say it to you you start to implement life in a way a controller therefore in people involved in MK Ultra that control you during MK Ultra got their word they start to they see that you follow their orders in your lifetime that's the end of it for you. And that is a Magdadi, a mama, a death. Well, that's why so many people, that's why so many people dead on a graveyard that go into MK Ultra. It's like a beginner's mistake. And they do very difficult things for you to follow their orders. Uh, and it would be very, very smart for you to do the stuff that is actually healthy for you, advisable for you. But I'm going to say to you, don't. And do whatever you feel is the right thing for you to do. Do whatever is the right thing for you to do. Don't do whatever you're taught to do. Do it because of you. Never do it. Because somebody said, regardless of how healthy or how good it is for you, or cheap or whatever it might be, stated to you, for you to must have do. Don't. Those are the entry points, the entry that are used to start something that on a long run is going to run you into a bag of fleas. Once you're going to start mistaking the MK Ultra, you know what the bipolar disease is. Bipolar for you people that you have you you have some knowledge about psychiatry, or you you yourself might be having experienced certain mental problems. Maybe you you don't even know. Maybe. It's been ready for too long, maybe whatever the issue might be, you might be maybe in a stressful environment, whatever, you might not register about what goes on around you. A bipolar disease. 
A bipolar is, <laughs> it was all designed like, bipolar disease is actually when you join MK Ultra with real world, like this, and you start to live without having a capacity anymore to discern between what happened during MK Ultra and what in real time, and you start to develop on a, on a long term a picture that is just completely fucked up, clustered into something that somebody have interpreted you as and you start to see things as and on a long term like let me de let me demonstrate to you you see here this two pants pen and pencil they they, they they stick together but they are not completely parallel to one another they are like this they have a certain corner like this yeah? and parallel to the time the only thing that's parallel here to one another is time because we're going to make like this like a little graph the difference in a distance and we're going to call this a reality you see at the beginning it was at one point yeah? that's when you knew you were okay you didn't have problems but this is uh, maybe even a split personality disorder maybe in that sense with the time this bipolar split personality whatever you want to refer to this stuff is is growing further and further and further for one another in, in this case here uh, we are talking about comparison between your healthy mind and the problems basically that are being created of course at the time in that sense nobody said that it needs to be it can be also explained in an abstract way once you introduce in your life bullshit especially if it's designed for you to get destroyed and you start to live that kind of stuff. You start to leave MK Ultra, breathe MK Ultra. It's all over with you. That's my definition of mental illness. Your inability to discern between MK Ultra and between your life in reality. Between what, how far those in MK Ultra can go in real time, uh, and your having a capacity to. Uh, to basically to uh, control, you know, I should say maybe self-control, maybe having a bit, having ability to consider uh, all uh, implications that which might derive from the problems uh, you are about to get yourself in uh, if you would possibly. God forbid, it's already enough stupid that you say, let's say, that you were uh, yesterday, I don't know, in Alaska or meeting some important person or something like this somewhere in some other dimension, uh, or, uh, you know, God forbid, that you start to mistaken, basically, the MK Ultra with with reality, and that's, that's when you're completely fucked, man. That's, that's basically when I can... I can, I can, uh, not I, but, you know, that's what you hear people talking about, uh, how they have seen all kinds of creatures and, and all kinds of stuff that exist, and, and it's all kinds of stuff that people start to daydream and uh, claim all kinds of stuff that they had, I don't know, what kind of experience, extra to stereo, uh, I don't know, that, yeah. Uh, Basically, you understand me what I'm trying to tell you. This is what destroys people, basically. When you bring something that you shouldn't on a picture in your real life, uh, can have most serious consequences for you. Till you have actually something on hand that you can use as a proof, as an evidence, as a physical evidence, whether that be audio recording or a physical picture photo of somebody you with or something like that or somebody approaches you and so on don't even think about it it's my just my advice to you as for this lady here 
she actually even married a German guy. <laughs> you know when I said about Hitler and Stalin, that kind of stuff? Spa her spouse is Welt Ulrich Braun, whom also she married through this MKUltra case. Yeah? And so it was her mother who Tanya Fion have presented me as a death threat parallel to the husband, uh, actually a father of the husband of the Slovenian president, which I demonstrate to you, first a female president, Slovenian president. Yes, we're gonna go like this. It is here, this lady here. Yeah, husband, her husband, yes. Yeah, so also has a daddy. I don't even know how old he was, but this was an old man. I remember him very well. You talk about all kinds of treasures that this man has and this and that. Hmm, yeah, interesting. Um, they don't say anything about the father. They don't say anything about the father. I'm going to tell you that the father of Alish, whom I remember, damn, and there is nothing said about that. Uh, based on my memory, But he is not so fat okay he doesn't have too many extra kilos but compared to his father does and his father was also more I think like light than he is and he was skinnier and more light uh, he had a less kilos he was more like slim and uh, eh, he had He looked uh, to me like he, he was always dressed in a yeah, like in a business shirt and stuff like this. He was more like uh, in a suit and, and, and in a shirt, his father. Yeah. He was, uh, I think he was more, uh, he was less fat than this. Uh, he was more skinny than what you see right there. Uh, and it appeared to me like more light-skinned when compared to uh, to his son, actually. Uh, uh, this is this is quite a f yeah yeah. This is a lot of extra kilos right there. Yeah. Uh, the first thing that happened was was a death threat involved. For my what is now 91 year old father that if I would get into this it would mean that he would have to get rid of his own father to prove to absolutely prove that one is dead that means that he would have to get his father killed the next one 
who joined the death threat against against uh, my father was a mother of Tanya Fayon and also Tanya Fayon. Uh, Neva Fayon uh, passed away in February of 2021. Uh, Neva Fayon mother of Tanya Fayon, who worked for the RTV Slovenia, born in 43, uh, insisted me during MK Ultra that if it will be necessary to her daughter, to her loving daughter, whom she wanted me to marry at all the costs, uh, this is a totally Milan Kuchan here, insisted me in front of her daughter that it will be necessary that she as a partisan, she as a national resistance fighter, it will be necessary for her that she will give her life uh, in the process. She did not say straight to me for her daughter to have uh, legitimate, according to the MK Ultra standards, right to assassinate my father or to get my 91 year old father assassinated. But it was her daughter Tanya Fayon who stated me that if things are gonna go that far. Uh, therefore, that she would have to have uh, her own mother assassinated. Remember, it all started with the husband of what is now Slovenian president Natasha Pierc Musar, who supposedly lost his father in 2018 car accident. In that case, she stated to me, Tanya Fayon, she would have my father 100% killed with a father who participated also in MK Ultra uh, when she issued me repeatedly a death threat uh, looking at me in my face angry giving me his uh, crazy looks and saying taco Tako, asi razumevzdej. Did you understand? Did you understand? Did you understand? Did you understand? Who is your daddy? I know your husband is Ulrich, but who is your daddy? Where are you going? Where are you going to be tomorrow? That's exactly how the death threat was presented to me on behalf of the Ruskis who in front of the Germans have used Tanya Fayon to further the crime to the next degree. He did not stop there. Yeah, he did not stop there. Negotiated with the German politicians in our house, which also included Angela Merkel, Olaf Scholz, about, they all confirmed, they gave me a death threat that if I will go and talk about this kind of stuff, which, however, they have made totally impossible for me to not talk about, therefore, What you see here and what was presented to me through the Sergei Lavrov, just as I have pointed below down here, on how once I'm going to get the money, 
Don't even think about Alfa Romeo. Don't even think about Maserati. Don't even think about something leasing car from the Germans or something like this. That you have to comply with the Slovenia. That you have to marry Slovenian. You have to marry the Russian. You have to marry the Serbian. Or we will kill you. It's a truck. It's this. It's that. It's a that. It's that. 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 A Russian Dacia. A Russian Dacia. It's not Dacia, but tomorrow you're fucked. Now you're mine. Was actually used to demand from the Germans who flirted. Hey, they advertised in front of me. Like there, like on my side. They would be, if necessary. That maybe the BBC. They do have maybe technology that could be used to analyze what Sergei Lavrov wanted so much. Uh, like Tanya Fayon. Bullets in front of me ger with the Germans negotiated. Unless you would have a uh, ability to look into uh, to look into uh, cremation and discern whether it was a real cremation or it was not a real cremation. And I had to take a time, ladies and gentlemen, to do nothing less than what you have seen here. You know what I mean? Because this is 2023 and there is no place for errors here anymore. Now it's time for me to give myself a name. pay respect to what at earlier stage due to terror, due to degree of violence against me, I had no capacity. So I hope I did present it to you with MK Ultra on how it works. Obviously both politicians have issued to me death threats on behalf of the Russia. Obviously these people wanted me to bite German site uh, obviously these people wanted for me to see myself in a German side, an Italian side, if not in a Russian side, in whichever side, obviously that this is continuation of what these criminals started, not communists. People refer to them as a communists from ex-Yugoslavia. They have nothing to do with the communism. This is about ethnic cleansing. This is about totally other issues. It's about me having my life destroyed already for 43 years. And about those whom I have trusted. Maybe those whom you trust. Maybe those whom you support in whichever country you are. If you are forced into NATO or European Union or whatever to secure your peace, your well-being. To pick sides, basically. For you to pick, for me to pick sides in this conflict. So I, you, I, could be ripped apart, basically. And in this case, of course, I will not take sides. Milan Kucho. Milan Kuchko and uh, Loisa Petrle, Slovenian police, have organized this crime at home for elderly people so, so, so well. The other day I have actually identified an individual who was involved in MKUltra with his sister and daughters. And he's on the same floor in the next room to my father. But that supposedly belonged to Loise Petrle. And he was just so desperate that he warned me about how I have to be siding with Loise Petrle. You know, with this guy here. Louis, Louis, Louis. Uh, Petrle, Luigi, Luis, Luigi, this one here, Luigi, who knows all about the cancer, who has and who doesn't have, and you know, after all he has, and the kind of cancer I have, how the fuck not, this is the guy that figured out that once Slovenia become independent country, that he would have stopped genocide against me 
But after six months, upon six months of independence, since nobody out there was enough to go and side with me, give me a support, he figured out there won't be no fucking difference that I'm also mentally ill in New Slovenia, just as I was in previous greatest Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. But he got a lot of free tickets, a lot of friends, connections to Thailand, you're not for him, for his friends. Brussels with a bureaucracy, with with Janus Jansha, with all these guys, they jiggled everything otherwise Slovenia would have to offer into corruption, into organized crime. They jiggled my life. But such is the story with the Slovenian nation. It's after all why I have stated that there is no place on the map of the nations for Slovenian nation as it does not belong on a map as an independent nation. You cannot be on a map as an independent nation if you are engaging in extermination in a genocide against your own native population. There should be no place for a country like this because it poses a threat. Highest threat of them all, above all, to all other independent sovereign nations. And they wanted me to pick between who would get my father murdered. This individual started to balloozle to me when hijacked from Poland in 2019 and 2020 about my father. That if I am going to go and start to talk about the Loise Petaleo, something God forbid that you would turn, come on man, it's everything is fucking audio recorded, the audio and video recorded everything. That's He did this next to the fucking police, man! And he wanted to believe in some other politicians, start taking sides and so on. So, I hope I did a good video for you for a better understanding on how MKUltra works, on how they break the family apart, how, what kind of issues they use, how they do, what they do for the family members to kill one another, and if they don't kill one another, then into the in the German language, I say, into the Spitze, yeah? Olaf Scholz, in the Spitze, huh? Wir gehen nach Spitze, nach Vienna, nach Berlin, huh? Nach Hitler, huh? Wo gehen wir? Where? Arr! Where are we going with it? Where the fuck are we going with it? Where are we going with it? It's 43 years you jiggled, man. 40 fucking three years you destroyed me. Huh? What is the definition of the genocide? What is the definition of the genocide? When you exercise every fucking chapter, every fucking paragraph in Universal Declaration of the Human Rights of the United Nations against me, thousand times, on a grand scale, for no less than 43 years you did enforce this against me. So what are you trying to tell this? What are you trying to tell me here, Satan? What are you trying to tell me? What are you what are you trying to enforce? Huh? What are you nobody here is nobody here is bipolar. Nobody's got a pre split personality. I see you guys. on a court you're not gonna like it I've seen a British king the other day standing on this uh, ferris it wasn't much life to him he was like you know like a plant more than not he had his idea to disappear on the stage four months after being crowned 
but who's going to think from within? All the roads go straight to Rome. In this case, Rome is a court. Police and that kind of stuff. Yes, my father is 91 year old. He's still alive. It's going to take me a lot of work, a lot of effort. Not to put him only back on his feet. For him to move himself around. Uh, but to actually get out of his head this mentality, this culture, this this uh, death wish, basically, rehabilitate him enough to have a will for life, to live for something. They also blinded him. He is also blind. They put him some kind of drops in his eyes. Prime Minister Robert Golop took initiative for that matter but they were contemplating on a murder of my father since year 2000 they just wanted to find a way on how to murder one after all it was Yanko the nurse from home for elderly who with a psychiatrist Peter Kopsch become began to contemplate in 1999 in 2000 so much on how to get how to murder my father basically how to get rid of all of us systematically so they could profit from it so they could get as much as possible out of it that eventually I was told even police manage natives audio record these people and they had to transfer maybe it was a police that catch natives or something I don't know but it was a big deal because then they took it to Croatia, I understand, and then it was in Croatia they had a problems and so on. They started a new career in this independent Slovenia, which came to life in 91, uh, that just uh, changed their uh, views on life. But I can assure you they had a good life. I didn't have any life. Now I am finally paying respect to my life at age 52 uh, thanks for watching this video this is to be used literally as a police evidence in crime against me and if I have to express myself like that, my family. You guys don't know what the fuck you did, do you? You don't you're not accountable for it. You just for you is this is just like you sit in the car and you just go on a fucking highway and you drive and that's all the fuck there is. You just you you're not accountable. I think that you guys are not fucking accountable anymore at all about how far can it go, what it can go, what it, how can it be? This is like this is like you you are actually a killers on the loose. Thanks for watching this video. Today is June the 18, 2023. Listen to my advice to what I stated to you. If you are somehow affected, don't do absolutely anything till you have a list of physical proofs for which you make sure that nobody positively can argue with you. So that they're not gonna destroy you, man. Never bring something. Uh, force yourself. Force yourself like I did. I trained the brain to block MK Ultra from entering into real life. That was my ex-wife that tried to bring me the stuff. And I got into very, very direct, angry, my ex-wife from Ecuador and heated argument with her. Stating her a little bit that I'm going to be out of the fucking doors if she brings the subjects from MK Ultra one more time with a picture. We had a serious fight because of this shit. We had 
heavy arguments because of this stuff. She wanted to introduce, she wanted to rape me in my head with issues that went on during MKUltra to bring them on a picture in real life. When you do that, that's when you're fucked. Live by the standards, basically, you know. Live by your standards. Live by your by your own standards, whatever those might be. Uh, it's a it's it's a tough call, MK Ultra. This is by worse than any cancer, any you know, you have a MK Ultra and then you have a, a whatever whichever kind of problem that you have. Uh, you won't even fucking notice the difference, I think. Uh, it's just that the question is if it's going to be worth it for you to continue with the life. Because when you lose so much time and you have only so much left of whatever you have left, it doesn't summarize down to this anymore. June 18, 2023, they know all this stuff. They know all this stuff. That's all. That's all part of the deal. That's all part of the deal. My next video, I'm going to be recording you. It's going to be the video I'm going to dedicate to my tooth. I don't know what they say. This small or what? Yeah, I think it's small in English. It's like the last tooth here. Ah, uh, up here, that's missing. And I did not go to the dentist to get one out. And. Uh, it's what Joe Biden had done about six days ago and uh, insisted from me, although I already have done this shit, but under MK Ultra, he insisted me, when you see this article about this root channel, a root, uh, it's a tool that's connected to all the root channels, you have to record the video. I did already, I already explained everything. I did another video, which is like, yesterday I did, that's the next one you're going to see. But what I want to stress to you about, it's a King Charles now, it's a King Charles now, <laughs> who, who had me in front of the computer right here inside of this room with whatever he's sticking to my tooth inside, literally, uh, pointing me out when they took me, uh, they would play with this stuff and they took me out a plumb uh and he would go with a stick inside and he was demonstrating me literally with the snake cams that i have that i used yesterday and uh, claimed me when when it's going to be so much when it's going to be so much do you see this when it's going to be so much uh then 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 whatever he mean whatever he meant by a uh, then yeah uh, and that's exactly what I did yesterday. I, I, I exactly, exactly rehearsed to exactly what I was told. And by by King Charles and by Joe Biden, I hope I did a good video. That's going to be the next one I'm going to release. What a wonderful people. Yes, I know that this teeth here is they're very dangerous. Yes, I know. I know. And 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 it's, you can die. That's what they were playing with since 95. They were taking me the teeth out and they... They drilled a lot, my teeth, they did all kinds of stuff. Fuck me the teeth up, yes I know. But the teeth are still somehow there. Uh, and you're going to learn in the next video, the dentist uh, who did this, destroyed me this tooth, destroyed one on, at the request of the police, finally completely destroyed one, because uh, the infection they have created prior pushing me into, uh, into uh, a Poland through Slovakia, it just could not resolve. It was infection and I had a plumb that would not come out. But the plumb was not that supposed it would come out. It was supposed to be a tooth that should have broken off itself and it the fucking tool did not broke itself off so they brought me from poland here to slovenia in 2019 uh, 2018 excuse me and the dentist uh, who told me that upon my return from poland if the tooth is going to be still inside and even if it's going to be a chance for the two to be still repaired would not repair me one 
and will even charge me a lot of money. I don't know how much. Compared to the Polish Lothi, like four to one, that would be like a lot of money for you. It will be too much and you will not do it and so on and so forth. Uh, despite your having your uh, insurance, we will charge you the money to pull you out the tooth and so on. Um, brought me from Poland to finish the fucking job off took the fucking machine a little bit more just enough for the wall to literally once delivered back cemented back nice uh, plumb the tooth breaks off partially on the top uh, the, comes out makes like this loose so that it would come out immediately. Police actually even apologize for me that, for that matter. And so yes, Joe Biden, who published about six days ago, today's June 18, if you look, if you Google for the last week, Joe Biden root channel, the tooth, yes, he did go and he excused himself from attending some place, told me that's exactly, it's going to be your last chance. That's the next video I'm going to dedicate to that one. Yeah, it's already done. Thanks for watching this video, MK Ultra. This is um, eh, this is nothing. This is just a fucking candy. It's nothing. Till you start fucking barking on a court. If you if you ask me. I think their DNA is fucked up. I think that 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 they carry. I think that that their grandchildren and their grand grandchildren are fucking guilty. Not only them. I think that that. I think I think that. I think they're ultimate evil. I think that never was. A, the world is evil. The world is a lot of worse coming up. More and more worse. More and more aggressive. Uh, but these people bring nothing out of that fucking evil, man. Go figure out how the hell I feel about it. Not good. Not too damn good.